mama, daddy, baby sis. Tell your cousins all about this. Thanks, Dave. Oh, hi. Oh, we're the Real Big Fish. Yeah. Today we're going to show you how to make an album. It's really easy. Step one, get a bunch of people that play instruments. Then, write some songs with those instruments. And the people. Oh, and make sure they're hits. I'm doing the scratch guitar right now. I don't even know what I'm playing. He's not listening. All he wants to hear is drums. Right now we're uh, tracking. Today's the first day, March 1st, and um, and uh, we're doing a bit of drums today. It's funny that today we should start um, tracking the Real Big Fish record. Actually, two years ago today is when I joined this band. Really? Two years ago today. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It took that long. I thought I thought maybe I'd play with these guys for like six months and then get the hell out of here, but uh, it's been working out great, so I'm excited. Seriously, this guy, like, is, he's like a drum machine. He's amazing. But, and like, every take is perfect, but he just listens, and it's not the right kind of perfect. It's not, I don't know. I just try to, try to get it as close to right just one time, and I'm happy. That's what happens when you, like, when you work with real musicians, and not hacks like me. He's listening to uh, another drum track, checking it over and over and over and over and over and over again to make sure it's good. Every 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 uh, member of the band gets their time in the studio where they get to, you know, it's all about them to do whatever they want. <laughs> that reminds me of my my favorite joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> The only reason I was able to tell that joke is because it's two lines. What kind of bees make milk? I don't know. Boobies! Ah! <laughs> he thinks he's got to eat fish all the time because he's in real big fish. Oh, yeah. He's still yeah, in hey, You know, man. honestly, I didn't even think about he it. He was, that. like, a super fan before he got in the band, so he's like... Wait, he talks to me in like quotes from our old songs. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to make some sloppy. You wanna make some sloppy joes tonight? Yeah. Fuck well, yeah, right? Oh. So, Ryland's done. Gone home. Finished the drums. One day. Amazing. Um, start guitars. Because we only have three weeks to do this. Now, drum time is over, so I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Yeah, Dave wants uh, his credits to read buttons pushed, record button pushed by Dave yeah. Irish. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's I think he does a lot more than that. All I do is just push buttons. All I do. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Three weeks, what? I gotta eat sometime, come on. Are we gonna be doubling the clean guitar? As many guitars as possible. Well, that was fine. Shit! Cool. Did you want...
song, both of them, or just the first one? Just the first one. It would take longer to get through the song if we had a guitar solo. Get through. Get it over with. Got to get the beer. <laughs> find yourself a fancy recording studio. If you can't find one or afford one, build one yourself. My name is Matt Wong, and I'm here doing my bass tracks for the new Real Big Fish record. The fuck is a record? Didn't your, one of your cars have an 8-track? I totally had an 8-track player in my car. And that was, like, 91. In the 90s, we were into showing the foreheads. But now... Man, we had sweet goatees and stuff. I still have one. I can't let it go. That's how it, we roll. Because if I do, then they'll just be neck and face. I don't really have a chin. This is today. And let's show them, let's show them the, um, what the 90s were. <laughs> <laughs> so this combo right here, that's how I learned all the real Big Fish bass lines, all the original ones, like this. I was watching Sting play recently, and he plays, still plays like this. I'm a bass player. Five strings, one for each finger. You wanna go play some bass? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. This one makes the bass go boom, boom. This one goes boom. This one goes. This one goes slap, slap, slap. This one goes bang, 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 bang. What's that one do? This one right here. Mm -hmm. This one hangs out. Does Just this? What about the other one? Waves to all the ladies. Hey, what's that? Hey, ladies. I'm doing guitars. Sky guitar. It looks easy. But it's not. I mean, it is, but it's not. Yeah, people have trouble with it. I think it's easy. But I, I hear it's hard. I don't know. It goes, it's, it's, you gotta mute right here. You gotta mute. And you gotta mute, you gotta do this. See, watch my fingers. They're gently lifting up a little bit every time. See that? See that? And then my hand, muting, muting. See, it's going. I'll do it slow motion. Watch my other hand. I'm muting, up here too. Now you can play ska guitar. Now you can start a ska band. Go, do it. Do it! Okay, watch me some more. Okay, so now we're doing the... Ooh. That's the super phaser. That's not mine. I don't have cool pedals like that. That's borrowed. Secretly borrowed. I'm just gonna stay right here. <laughs> Feels good. found a recording studio, take all those instruments and the people and record them. Due to advancements in technology, practice and talent are optional. But I'm getting through, I'm just...
We'll watch from the control room. We're busy. When did you quit pulling all of the stops for me? When did your 110% become under 50? There you are, phoning it in, going through the motions with an artificial grin. It's weird singing these songs that are new because uh, I just wrote the words and I don't really know how they work. It's, all, it's crazy. My whole world's turned upside down. <laughs> See? My whole world's turned upside down. Yeah, I gotta do that. You know, Cause that's what people really do in the studio. When they really want to feel it. Oh, yeah! The version of you is the new, is the new, new version of you is the new, is the new, new version of you is the new, is the new, new version of you. If that's one thing I'd like to do, it's kill. That was terrible. Let's meet our horn players. Um, the music is new, and so my feelings on the music are new. Um, some of it's new, some of it's old, new, older new. Most records they say, you know, your band's, the band's first record takes them their whole lifetime to make, and then the second record takes them six months, and then... This one's taken 16 years. Yeah. I know that the Black Crows took like five years to make a record. Well, we totally fucking beat them on that. These are songs that um, come straight from the heart of uh, Aaron Barrett himself. The black pit of his heart. The, um, the, the pitiful maelstrom of, of self-loathing and anxiety that is Aaron Barrett. Um, and hopefully after we finish this record, his heart will have changed from a cornucopia of death and despair into a beautiful floating palm tree. Butterfly. It's nice to see you. Wait, he's quickly energetic. I don't get to see Scott very often, so I give him a hug each time I see him, so. But I, I don't see him, so. me either very much. It's, t it's terrible, I don't know what to say. Would you say that so far this recording this experience has been a pos positive one? I think it's been fantastic. I think this is going to be the best Real Big Fish album ever. Who would you say is probably your least favorite to work with on this, this record so far? Who's been the guy you just, when you go home, you make a voodoo doll out of him, and then you stab the voodoo doll with knives and fucking and little pins, and then you kick the teeth in of the voodoo doll and set it on fire, and then you pee the fire out, and then you shit on the pee of the fire? Voodoo dolls have teeth? What you doing? It's happening! Who's the hard ass that's really been riding our ass yeah, this time? Yeah, yeah. That's Aaron. Aaron Beirut. Yes. He's, he's an extreme hard ass. Like, like, Mainly because he works out. This is all very interesting, but Scott's only here for three days oh, to cool. play horns on uh, like 12 songs and sing on 19 songs. Oh, so. Oh, we have to go! go. For real, none of that practice shit. What he was doing. I think before. we should do them over because we got the wood floor down now. Yeah. And uh, we have the temporary door up instead of the leaned against the wall door. I point at Dave. Dave pushes that button. The magic is captured in the computer. Pretty much. Sometimes Dave goes to the bathroom and I push that button, but it's scary. I want a professional to push the button. Did you start wearing all of those clothes to be cool? That means 
That means unpu unpush. Push, unpush. nighters in a row. Scott's here for three days. All of my work on this record, 19 songs, vocals, horns, calliope, ukuleles, you know, that's, um, that's called professionalism. You gotta suffer for your art, which is also why I have a safety pin through the head of my penis right now. Because not only is pulling three all-nighters in a row difficult, I gotta make it super difficult on myself. Um, so I've got a, you know, the makeshift Prince Albert. Who is Prince Albert? What is, he, is he the first guy to... Who's that one guy? So this album, this whole album, started out, we were going to do a bonus EP bonus. of live stuff for the live album. So it was going to become a four-disc set. When we first started talking about four it. Four-disc set. Then we said, ah, we got plenty of live stuff. Let's Lots. do Let's do B-sides. Then we realized we don't really have any B-sides. Because we didn't put anything out on vinyl. That too. And uh, so then uh, we wrote all these new songs, but then we still wanted to do some of the songs from Everything Sucks, because that's what we did on Turn the Radio Off and Why Do They Rock So Hard. We went back and then we went forward, so we don't go forward without going back. I need more coffee. You, you sing, I listen, push buttons. Ryland left me a little note that says, zone it. Had I known we were going to be filming, I'd have put my hair in curlers instead of wearing a hat that I had put, you know. I thought, why not? You're gonna need bigger coffee cups, man. One that isn't so lame You say you'll be coming a better person If there's one thing I'd like to do, it's kill New version of you I want blood and guts and gore and veins in my teeth I want to kill. Now realize, there may be some disagreements along the way. But remember, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Shut up! That was perfect. No, that was fine. Fuck you. No! Hey! You fucking come in here and... I told you a million times that's the way it fucking goes. We practiced it like that. God damn it! Fuck you! Fuck you and your stupid asses! Sounds really good. Listen. Slow down, you the got vibe. to slow the vibe. down yes. and take it easy. Oh. Take it easy, oh yeah. Take it easy, oh yeah. Take it easy, oh yeah. Take it. Oh, yeah. Do the take it easy dance. <laughs> Everybody now. You thought skanking was dumb. <laughs> oh. Now get on in there. Oh, shit. Okay. I need some fuck yous. Guys, fuck you and you know who you are. Fuck everything. The fuck you the most. Fuck everyone. But fuck you the most. Now, it's time for mixing. It's just like making a cake. 
<laughs> a musical cape. <laughs> all done, pressed up and boxed up, ship it out so it can be in the hands of all the boys and girls all over the world and wait for their smiles and cash, mostly their cash. Well, that about covers it. That's how you make a record. It's that easy. Now go out there and make the real big fish proud. Oh, and remember, good luck. Yeah. You'll need it. Now put in the CD and enjoy it. <laughs> Probably. Go drink. Oh, drinking time. <laughs> <laughs> 